Okay. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous that I've been doing this for like seven years and I still get nervous recording in front of people? I mean, you should. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> Just yelling at a camera. Yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. actually yelling. I Most yell the at the camera. By yourself. Yeah. Dorothy, are you ready? You gotta say hi, this is Dorothy, okay? Hi, this is Katie, and this is Dorothy. Say hi. Look at this little girl. You guys know I'm staying at my friend's house and they have four dogs. Um, and so they're gonna be in the video with me today. And <laughs> my friend is sitting right there watching me. And when people watch me, I get nervous. So I might be a little, a little more awkward in this video than normal. But in today's video, hanging out with the dogs and hanging out with my friend, I am also going to be making an allergy-free pizza. I will wash my hands from when I put her down until I cook. But yeah, we're gonna be making an allergy-free pizza today. It's gonna be free of all the allergens that I cannot eat, which are the top eight food allergens, uh, gluten, dairy, soy, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts. Um, there's a dog wagging her tail, I feel it, hi. Um, and uh, seafood and shellfish and all that kind of stuff. And I wanna show you guys the products that I'm using and just show you how I made this pizza. I made it for the first time a couple days ago and it's delicious. So if you're interested in this video and hanging out with Dorothy and the puppies and seeing some pizza, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. All right, Dorothy, I gotta put you down, okay? I gotta cook, okay? Look how cute she is. Oh, we gotta show off your little mohawk, Dorothy. Look at this. Okay, put you down, okay? I'll show the other dogs at some point too. Max, you wanna be on camera? <gasps> Max, you wanna be on camera? Oh, this is Max. Max, say hi. <laughs> he does not like to be kissed on the face. All right, we're making pizza, we're making pizza. All right, so. I'm gonna wash my hands quick and then I'll show you the ingredients that I use. Can you guys, hold on. This is what I'm working with right now. All the puppies. Oh, they all scattered. All right. Okay, so, um, okay. what? Hmm? What? <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't blame them. <laughs> hey, you're here on purpose, by choice. My friend does not want to be on camera. Um, he's been in the background of like the hiking video at the Smokies and like two videos from like six years ago. You were like in the yeah, background yeah, of. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he does not want to be on camera. But I'm going to leave some of his commentary in. Hmm. <laughs> I've known him a very long time and he puts up with me. So, all right, let me show you the ingredients that we're going to be working with today. Okay, so here are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. This is the holy gluten-free, gluten-free pizza crusts, and they're gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, everything free, and they actually taste pretty good. So I have that, and then the cheese I'm gonna be using is the Follow Your Heart Provolone. I know, I'm not using mozzarella, I know, I know, but this provolone is my favorite vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, blah, 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 cheese. It's really good. I really only eat it like heated up or melted, but it's really good. I'm also gonna put some prosciutto on here, and then onions, pepperoncinis, roasted red peppers, which I love. And then I'm going to use these Italian herbs and some olive oil. There's not gonna be a sauce on here. Um, so it's just gonna be really like melted cheese, some meat, some veggies, olive oil, herbs. I do have some basil as well. And then I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on it too. And I'm just gonna assemble the pizza, throw it in the oven for like nine minutes and the prosciutto will get really crispy. Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, and then I'll show you guys. Okay. <laughs> Let's move you guys over here so I can show you the assembly. How's that angle? Oh, and you'll get a little bit of the floor too so you can see any dogs that are passing by. Is that okay? Maybe? I don't know, I can't really tell. I'm using a different camera. All right, so I am going to make the pizza on parchment paper because I like how it gets really crispy. And a trick I learned with parchment paper is to crumple it up um, because then it'll stay flat. So like just crumple it up a little bit and then open it and it won't like curl up at the ends. All right, let's make a little room. Take one of these out. They're individually wrapped and it comes with three, which is really cool. Put that down. And I don't need to like pre-cook this or anything. I'm just gonna put all the toppings on and throw it in the oven. So I'm going to probably put like two slices of cheese maybe a slice and a half. And I'm gonna just break it up a little bit so it melts easier. 
Hi, buddy. Can you see any of the puppies? They think I'm gonna feed them. They're all right here. <laughs> Hi, puppies. I don't know what that weird flashing is. I think it's one of the lights. I think it's the light. Yeah, it was the light. Sorry, guys. I shut the light off, so it might be a little darker, but. Okay, so just about that much cheese, I would say. Please do not yell at me for not using mozzarella. I have not found a mozzarella that I like. And this cheese is so neutral that it just gives more of like the texture and creaminess. Um, so then I'm going to put on, I guess, the veggies. And so I have them cut up right here. So I'll put on a few onions. Okay, and then a bunch of pepperoncinis. I love these. And some roasted red peppers. And these brands, at least again, with the allergens that I cannot eat, um, the Mount Olive roasted red peppers and the Mazetta pepperoncinis are safe for me. But again, depending on your food allergies and stuff, always check the labels. All right, I just washed that basil quick. Rip that into quarters, kind of. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of the fat off and then put this in small-ish pieces, kind of like this. The dogs are Buddy, Bagel, Oh, hi, beautiful. <laughs> she looked up and started wagging her tail. Um, Max and Dorothy. And once I put the pizza in the oven, yes, I will show you guys more of the dogs. Don't worry. They're very cute. I know this looks like a lot of prosciutto, but when it cooks, it will like shrink up a little bit. And also I like a lot of prosciutto, so. Now, I'm going to just drizzle a little olive oil. I, yesterday or two days ago when I made this pizza, I put the olive oil on the bottom, but I forgot to do that. So we're just gonna put a little on top and then a bunch of the herbs, which again, you can put them on the top, you can put them on the bottom. I don't know if it really matters. I hope not. I hope that it still crisps up. It should. Okay, and then a bunch of this, and I'll show you again what this, um, this packaging is in one second. This is the Gourmet Garden Italian Herbs Lightly Dried. So it's parsley, basil, and oregano. And it's slightly dried, so it lasts a little bit longer than fresh. Okay. I do wish I put the oil on the bottom, but you know what? Trial and error, guys. We're working with what we got. All right. So that's it. Um, I'm going to put the hot sauce on after. But that's what it looks like now. Can you guys see? Beautiful pizza. I'll do a close-up on my phone. Hold on. It really just looks like a ton of Italian seasoning. It's basically like an Italian, like a, like an Italian, like salad, but in a pizza, like an antipasto pizza kind of. All right. So this goes in the oven for like eight or nine minutes and then we're going to eat it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to clean up in a second, but before, uh, I kind of want to sit on the floor with the dogs. Puppies, you want to hang out? This is Max. This is Bagel. Bagel the beautiful. This is Buddy. Bagel's like the cuddliest, like sweetest little dog. Hi puppies. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> Bagel. Good girl. Good girl. All right. I'm going to clean up and then I'll show you when the pizza's done. Say see you later, Max. <laughs> oh no. You're going to start playing. All right. Okay. Come on. Let's get up. Come on. Come on, good puppies. Come on. Hi, Maxie. I love you. I love you, Maxie. Come on. I'm on the floor, so like they think I'm playing. <laughs> I know. I know. What a good girl. <laughs> okay. Good boy, bud. Okay. All right. I'm going to get up now. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. Okay. I also found some olives. Um, and put those on top as well. Let me get my phone and show you like with better lighting. This camera, oof, giving me problems. That's what it looks like. I cannot tell if it looks appetizing. All right, here's the pizza all done. Let's see if the prosciutto got crispy. Yeah, not all of it got super crispy, but 
That's because I layered it. I shouldn't have layered it. That was the problem there. Because the ones that are just like kind of by themselves got crispy. All right, let's try to get like a good bite with everything on it. All right. Thank you, God, for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh. I'm having a problem. Oh, goodness. Yep. It's good. It's really good. Mmm. I'm gonna try it a little bit with some hot sauce. I usually prefer sriracha on pizza, but I don't have sriracha right now. Also, if you can hear that noise, it's the oven like trying to cool down. The only thing, again, for me, this is like trial and error. The only thing I would do differently is one layer of prosciutto. Because since I doubled it, they didn't all get super crispy. But besides that, it's delicious. So I'm going to go eat the rest of my pizza, but I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I made some pizza and hanging out with all these dogs. If you guys have a favorite dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, nut-free mozzarella, please let me know in the comments um, because I tried one. I forget what brand it was and I didn't really like it, um, but the provolone actually does taste pretty good on that pizza. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know any other videos that you'd like to see. I really hope that you're subscribed and I guess it's going to be it. Thanks again and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Puppies, want to say goodbye? Want to say goodbye? Bye, big. Well, bye, Maxie. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, bud. <laughs>